we have a very simple uh, Microsoft uh, diagram. Uh, so this is an image uh, associated with the threat modeling standard file that Microsoft exports. Um, and we're going to show how that is imported into Iris Risk. So Iris Risk um, is currently running at version 4.9. This is when the Microsoft threat modeling standard uh, import mechanism has been made available. And we're going to use Postman to be able to import a MTM, a TM7 file, which is a Microsoft Threat Modeler export file. So there are a couple of things we need. We need, obviously, the Microsoft Threat Modeling file. This is the one that's associated with the diagram that I showed a few seconds ago. We need a name and we need a product ID, uh, which give us a, a, you know, a unique reference inside uh, Iris Risk. And we need to then simply send that information via the API and Postman tells us that it has completed Iris Risk. We have a new project. This is updating presently because it takes a second or so to import the threat model. And then we have our diagram. And as you can see, the diagram represents is exactly the same as our import as a mobile client, public API, Azure File Storage, and Postgres SQL. Uh, the data flows are there, they uh, just doubled over. And actually, if you oops, and if you click on the data flow, edit the data flow, you will see that the, the name that was given in the original file is actually included as part of that data flow definition. Uh, and here's another one just to be uh, clear, PSQL response.